Hey guys, this week I wanted to elaborate a little more on last week's topic. To recap, last week I talked about three different ways to translate. The first being what's called formal equivalency. When you translate a given word as it is culturally in its original language. The second being what's called dynamic meaning for meaning equivalency. When you translate a word in a way that makes sense to most, regardless of the culture. Then third, dynamic thought for thought equivalency. When you translate something in a way that makes it understandable to your own culture. In this video, I want to talk about a common misconception that I myself had for a good while. Some people, when they think of translations, think that any individual translation will fit perfectly into one category. For example, the NIV as a dynamic meaning for meaning translation of the Bible. Although as a whole, I do believe the NIV leans that way. That does not mean that the NIV as a whole is never literal and never chooses a literal rendering. In the same way, most people would categorize the King James Version as being a formal word-for-word -word translation. But this might surprise a few. It is not always literal when translating. I'll give an example first out of Romans 7.18 in the King James Version to show where the King James Version is more literal than the NIV. Okay, first in the King James Version in Romans 7.18, it says, For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing, for to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. Paul talks about how he desires to do good, but that nothing good dwells in him, that is, in his flesh, referring to his sinful nature as a human. Now, in the NIV, let me get that out. It says down here at 18... says, For I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that is, in my sinful nature. So the NIV goes with a meaning-for-meaning meaning translation. Instead of translating the Greek word sarx as literally flesh, it says sinful nature. So here the King James Version is more literal. But now let's flip over to 2 Timothy 3.16. Okay, it says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Given by inspiration of God is translated from the Greek word theos neustos, which literally means God breathed. Now let's take a look at the NIV. It says, All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. So here we have an example of the NIV being more literal than the King James Version in this case. These are just two small examples of how translators can make different translation decisions. And there's m many more than that. Why I wanted to make this video is to show that no translation is bound to one of these three translation philosophies. They all take liberties of translating in this regard, while at the same time staying faithful to what was originally written.